guys, welcome to another spoiler free review. I'm Nigel. And I'm Gary. And today we're talking about Captain America Civil War. Stay down. Final warning. I could do this all day. plots. One involving the Avengers as a whole and one involving Captain America specifically. Uh, the way it plays out is that each of the two stories forces the Avengers to pick sides yeah. in this uh, civil war, <laughs> shall we say. <laughs> yes. One side led by Captain America and one side led by Iron Man. So, basically, um, Chris Evans, Captain America, Robert Downey Jr., who's playing Iron Man, clearly give the best Marvel performances to date. They are forced to deal with the, the real-life issues of the actions of the Avengers as well as themselves in this film and in previous films. And the, the fact that Iron Man plays such a large role, Iron Man and the Avengers mm -hmm. play such a large role in this movie, um, I, I feel, uh, personally, I think a lot of people agree with me, that this is more of an Avengers movie then it is a Captain America movie. The two stories go back and forth, but the fact that it affects everybody on, on such a large scale, yeah. um, I, I would I feel like this is more of an Avengers sequel. But because the story intertwines, we understand why it's called Captain America. It's, Civil War. it's skillfully done, it's very very well done. And the fact that there's so many Avengers in here introduces two new characters, one being Black Panther and the other one being Spider Man. So because the story is now dealing with real issues, I kind of see where Marvel is going with these two new characters. Black Panther is a more serious guy who's out there and he wants to get revenge and do other crazy things, where Spider-Man is more of a, is actually played by a teenager and the for he is a little bit more cocky and quirky and bringing the fun side. So it looks like Marvel is going one direction with being serious and another side still catering to the fun aspect of, of catering to kids who really enjoy your favorite character, Spider-Man. Yeah. If I can jump in there, um, uh, Black Panther's introduction to the film is at a serious note, and I don't think yeah. this is a spoiler because it's in the trailer. Yeah, sure. His introduction to the film is through the death of his father, yeah. and then Spider-Man's introduction is more light-hearted, mm -hmm. um, and, and he's a younger character, so he's less experienced, he's, he's more gullible, you know, but he, he joins the fight um, for what I'm calling a cameo, an extended cameo. <laughs> Uh, but that's but yeah to echo your point he's clearly the fun guy because he's young he, 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 the weight of the world isn't on his shoulders yet yes. sure. okay so what do we like about this the action <laughs> guys yes. ridiculous yes. if you action. enjoy the ground level uh, uh, hand to hand combat of, of, of Winter Soldier mm -hmm. you're gonna love this because yeah. they, they kept it there even though we've got Iron Man and War Machine and Vision even though we've got them um, these larger than life characters, they find a way to to orchestrate and choreograph clever fight scenes. Yes. Um, they feel very real, even though half the characters are CGI. <laughs> yeah. Um, no, there's a lot of CGI. Talking about CGI, <laughs> there's a few points in the film where maybe they ran low on the budget yeah. and it's noticeable. Like, I'm going to let it slide for the larger sequence, but every now and then somebody will become put rubbery and you'll notice they're not real or... A car will look really fake or an explosion out of place and you're like, no, oh, okay. But, you know, then, then you just get back into it because it's non-stop, non-stop, non-stop. Sure. Except for that one point where it does stop. <laughs> <laughs> look, the movie doesn't drag, but there's a point where it slows down. To that point. <laughs> this is my feel. That the movie does drag. It doesn't drag that much. It, in some it's ways, exaggerating. It does, it does drag a bit. It's one scene that drags, maybe two scenes. Just as all, it, it felt a bit long. Yes. And the reason why those scenes drag is because they don't deal specifically with our two main antagonists mm -hmm. slash protagonists, because both is good and both is bad. Mm -hmm. 
it deals with the other the other Avengers and the greater story. It deals with a lot of people's backstories and how they're feeling and yeah, the, the the other Avengers and not just our main two two characters. The one other thing of one issue that this film has is that it does rely on the fact that you have seen the previous movies. Yes. It assumes that you know the characters um, and where they where they're coming from. Yeah. Um, it does to a degree work as a standalone, but if you know the history of it. A lot of the character motivations and decisions and things it makes more sense in your mind instead of seeming seeming like it comes out of nowhere. Yeah. You realize, oh, they've been through you know all of this, yeah. and now I understand why you know they, they choose to do something. So time to rate this thing. <laughs> yeah. uh, we're gonna do our patented uh, 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 comparative rating. Yes. Um, so question one: um, Is it better than? Captain America 2 Winter Soldier. Yes, definitely. Yes, I, it is. <laughs> I wasn't much of a fan of that one, irrespective of the world. Though it was that good, I, I, I still wasn't a fan of it. Um, and then, last one, because everybody loved this movie, is it better or worse than Guardians of the Galaxy? Really On a fun scale, no. No. Because there's less fun in this movie, because they have to deal with the real issues. And that's why I think it's better. Yeah, true. They gave it to a much more mature audience. Okay. okay, one last thing. Um, I think we would do everyone a great disservice if we don't compare this to the other versus movie that's currently airing. How does this movie compare to Batman v Superman Dawn of Justice? Personally, I'm, I'm a huge fan of that film. I loved it. Um, though it was edited really badly and it didn't have a lot of the character development <laughs> that we wanted. My main reason is that I enjoyed the film that much because it didn't feel like two and a half hours to me. Look, I'm with you on that. I enjoyed Batman v Superman we like the only two idiots out there. <laughs> but this was a better film. Oh, yeah. um, it, uh, you know, it, because it, it, it managed what it had mm -hmm. whereas Batman v Superman just we tried to do too much okay. and, that, and that's where it failed. That sums everything up. Um, the recommendation, obviously, is go see the movie. <laughs> because you will not regret it. <laughs> we'll see you guys next time. Bye. Bye.